But this stuff right here bike eats it up. You know, it really did eat it up. I really enjoyed riding this bike, and I've ridden it now twice. Uh, this was our, my first ride, and I've been able to ride it out in the desert as well uh, since this filming. And I will say to you that this front fork on this Beta, it's a closed cartridge fork, and it is phenomenal. Um, I've had a chance to ride it back to back to some other bikes, specifically like my 250XC and Tyler's 250XC. And I think the fork on this uh, handles the initial, the initial part of the stroke is a little bit more supple and soft than like a, the KTM Air Fork. And it is noticeable and it is good. It is extremely good. And so I'm very, very happy with this and I'm, I'm, tr I'm excited to put some more time on it. And yes, I don't love it when it's technical. Um, I've been in enough technical stuff now to know that this is not my favorite bike in the technical stuff, but if you're gonna be in the faster flowing stuff, <laughs> this might be the best four stroke that I have ridden to date. Look at those wildflowers, guys. Man, I love springtime, spring, summer. I guess technically we're still in spring. It's like extremely late May, early June right here. I don't know if I've ever ridden better dirt conditions than this. No dust, but traction. Very few spots where it was slick, or it has been slick. Got an awesome trail guide here. You know, something about this bike is it's just easy to ride. And I'm trying to put my finger on exactly why. I think it's because it doesn't have a ton of torque down low. And so it doesn't like kind of really eat you up in the low, low RPMs. It kind of smooths. There's like an easy transition into the power. And the power is all in the mid-range on this bike. It's very, very mid-range heavy and there's a lot of power there but there's not like an overwhelming amount of power and so it's kind of got like this perfect mix where it's just it kind of makes it easy to ride because the power doesn't come in your face super super fast um this this bike isn't a fast drag race bike for the first time uh i saw a four stroke that was a bigger than a like a 300 four stroke uh get beat by some two strokes. So the two strokes are not known for their drag racing abilities, especially like their, uh, like a, a KTM 300, but we had a KTM 300 and a KTM 250 on this trail ride. And we did three different drag races and this beta 390 got beat all three times in the drag races. Now drag racing is not like, this bike isn't slow. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that it, it doesn't win a drag race um, against a lot of other bikes, I, I wouldn't think. But once you get ahead of steam on this thing, it just goes. And it, it uh, it's just easy to ride. There's something about it that just makes it comfortable and forgiving and easy to ride. And I think this will end up probably being my favorite four-stroke um, maybe of all time. I mean, it's difficult, like every bike has its virtues and every bike has its vices. And, and certainly this bike is not without its vices, but it is so freaking phenomenal in so many other ways. The chassis feels really well balanced. That fork is phenomenal, like I was mentioning before. And then the power is just this, it's, it's the most different four stroke that I have ever ridden because it, it isn't super, it isn't super like snappy off the bottom where you feel like you're, you know, you're kind of being jerked around herky jerky and it doesn't have so much power that it, it feels like you're having a hard time keeping the front wheel on the ground and it doesn't feel super heavy. I know it is relatively heavy, but it doesn't feel super heavy once you're riding it. This ride ended up taking, you know, it was 50, 60 miles. I think it ended up being 58 miles um, of single track. And 
and I wasn't I wasn't completely worn out by the end like I am on a lot of different four strokes. So this was just a really great ride, really eye opening for me, and I've enjoyed riding it. Uh, and the other times that I've ridden the bike too, and I'm happy that I'm going to have it for for the summer and and take it a bunch of different places. third gear there. <clears throat> oh.
thought that was that I just hit, but it almost bucked me. 